Good morning. This is Wednesday, April 8th. All right, so our first thing we're going to do is in the middle of our paper, we're going to draw a line and we're going to call that the horizon line. The horizon line is basically where the sky meets the ground. In the middle, we're going to put a point and we're going to call that our vanishing point. All right. So we're going to start off with, by making a rectangular box, two horizontal lines and two vertical lines above the horizon line and below the horizon line. It doesn't matter what shape as long as it's got two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. Then we're gonna put also a box on the horizon line. Now, from our vanishing point, we're looking up to this box. So we're gonna be able to see the bottom of that one. So that one is gonna be drawn in what's called worm's eye view. The one that we're looking down on will be able to see the top. So we're going to call that one bird's eye view. And this one, we're going to be calling it eye level. All right, so now we're going to use our rulers and we're going to connect each of these edges to our vanishing point. So you're gonna line up, put your pencil on the dot, line it up, hold your pencil up straight so that you can make a line going down to each of those points. All right, so now we have them connected to our vanishing point, but we still don't really have them in, in boxes. So we can take our ruler and line it right up with one of our horizontal lines and move our ruler down as far as we want that to go so that this line and this line are parallel. Parallel means that they could go along and never intersect. The same thing here, we're going to take this and move it down like this. Then we could erase the lines we don't need and we would have a box. Now, if our sun or our light source is coming from this way, this one might be like a kind of a medium shade. And this one might be like a darker shade. So you would start having a box in three dimensions by adding the different values. All right, now here's what is a normal mistake that is made. People come along and they draw their lines like this for the perspective. And then they get frustrated because their box doesn't really look like it's three-dimensional. It's very important for this line and the line that you draw to be parallel. So line up your ruler, move it straight back to draw your line. Take your top, line it up with this one and move it straight back with both hands to draw your line. And then you have your box. So if our light source is coming from here, this is going to be the light, this is going to be the medium, and the front would be the dark, depending on where your light source is coming. And since we're just making these up, 
We're just making up our light source right now. So when we actually draw things that are three-dimensional, then we get to actually look and see where the light source really is. So again, we're seeing the bottom of this one from our vanishing point. So that would be drawing that in worm's eye view. We see the top of this one. So that would be drawing it in bird's eye view. And our eye level one We don't see the top or the bottom because it's at eye level. All right, so that is a real brief introduction to one point perspective. And now we're gonna give you a little brief introduction to two point perspective. All right, so we're gonna start off the same way we started before. We're gonna draw a line, and then we're going to have two points this time. One on either end, two points for our two point perspective. So we're gonna start off on this one with just a vertical line at the top, a vertical line at the bottom, and one on the line. So like an eye level, just like we did before. Now, what makes this one a little bit different is that we have only one line to go to two points. So we're gonna go from the top and the bottom of each line to each point. Okay, so we're gonna connect the bottom and the top of each line to each point. Kind of a fun looking drawing just like without even making them into boxes kind of abstract all right so now we're going to take these this is our edge of our box and we're going to bring the ruler back bring it back keeping it parallel however far we want it to go draw a line go back to our original line move it however far you want it to go Draw that line. Do the same with each of these. Move it back however far we want it to go, making sure that it is parallel. All right, now we're gonna take and make the top. So we're gonna take this far point and connect that to our perspective point. And if we erase some lines around it, you can see that you have a box. The same thing here. Now, the one in the middle is at eye level. So you don't have to make any others because it's already there. You don't see the top or the bottom of that box. So just like before, if we see the bottom of a box, we're drawing it in worm's eye view. If we see the top, we're drawing it in bird's eye view. And if it's right on the line, it's called eye level. And just like we did before, 
as far as if our light source was coming from here, this would be the lightest. This one would be a medium one, medium shading. And this would be darker. One of the things when you are shading rectangular boxes, it is not like the when we were doing cylinders where we were making our shading go really smoothly. You'll have nice distinct lines as far as where the edges of the light and the medium actually join. So if the light's coming from here, that's going to be light. This will be the medium one. And we have light and we have medium. And dark. All right, that was your beginning perspective 101. Tomorrow, we're gonna add an incline plane and show you how you can make those boxes into buildings. Don't forget to wash your hands and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.